Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. In the previous video, I've implemented the functionality of Book Car API in Spring Boot. So today in this video, I'm going to call this API from Angular. So let's get started. You can see here the customer service. So let me copy this method and add after that. So I'm going to update the method name that is a book car. And in the argument, it will receive book car video. That is the type of any. And here we need to pass book card DTO. And the mapping, it will be a post. And here we need to pass the URL of the API that is a slash API slash customer slash card slash book. So let's save this. Let me close this. Let's go to our book card component.ts and here I'm going to initialize variable that is a validate form and it will be a from form group so in the ng on in it I'm going to initialize a directly form so it will be a validate form is equals to let me inject here form builder And here we need to call this dot fp dot group. And here we need to declare the inputs that we need to get from the HTML. So it will be a to date and it's by default null. And the second it will be a validators dot required. And the second I'm going to add here from date. So let's save this. And here I'm going to create method that is a book car. So in the argument, it will receive data that is a type of any. So let's go to our HTML and here I'm going to add the HTML code. So you can see here I've added the code with the and this pin tag where we have a first input that is a from date and the second input that is a to date. And you can see the button that is a book card. So first of all, we need to bind our TS with the HTML. So let me copy this variable name that is a validate form. And we need to add here on the form tag with the form group property. Okay. So after that, we need to bind our inputs with the TS. So I've added here form control name property on and the date picker tag. And you can see the form control name that is a to date on the and the date picker tag. So you can see the method that we are calling on the click event that is a book car and in the argument we have passed here validate form dot value. So let me copy this property that is a spinning and here I'm going to declare with by default false. So let's go to our UI and you can see here we are getting an error that is a form group since is not a known property of form. So let's go to our customer module.ts and here I'm going to inject reactive forms module and the second we need to add here forms module. After that, we need to add the property in our book car component.ts that is a date format and it will be a day, month and the year. So here in this method, I'm going to add console.log to print the values into our console. So let me add your data. Let's save this. So let me enter the from date and the to date that is the 30 December. Let's click on this book card button. And you can see we got the value from the input that is a to date and the from date. So we need to pass this data to our backend to book the car. So here I'm going to call this dot is spinning and I'm going to make it true. And after that, we need to create an object that is a book a car DTO. And here we need to set that is a to date. 
and we will get two dates from data dot to date after that we need to set here from date and we will get from date from data dot from date after that we need to set here the user id so we will get user id from our local storage so let me check what is the name of our local storage that is a storage service storage service dot get user id let's go to our storage service and here i'm going to add this method that is a get user id so let's go to our ds and we need to call here storage service dot get user id and after that we need to set here car id and we'll get car id from this dot car id okay so after that we need to call here our service and the method that is a book a card and here we need to pass book a card dto let's subscribe this save the response into this variable that is a rest and here i'm going to add console.log to print the result into our console and after that we need to show the notification service to the customer so let me inject first in the constructor that is a private message from mz message service and after that i'm going to inject here router and it will be a from router and here we need to call this dot message dot success and the message over here that is a booking request submit it successfully and the duration of this message that is a five seconds and after that we need to navigate the customer to the dashboard so it will be a this dot router dot navigate by url and here we need to pass the url that is a slash customer slash dashboard okay so in case of error we need to show here the notification service to the customer so it will be a this dot message dot error and it will be a something went wrong and the duration of this message that is a five seconds okay so let's save this let's go to our ui and let's test the api so let me refresh the component let's click on this book card button and you can see here booking request submitted successfully and it's navigate us to the customer dashboard so that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video if you have any confusion you can do comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye